Hi Capricorn, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of November 21st to November 27, 2022? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Capricorn, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not they might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates with you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. One more thing I wanted to say is please be careful of scammers that are out there pretending to be me. If you receive a message from someone telling you to contact them um, at a random phone number, that's not me. Those are scammers. I will never send you a phone number for you to contact me or reach out to me. Okay, so please be careful. All right, spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of Capricorn in regards to love for this week. Thank you, spirit. All right, let's take a look. First card we have for you, Capricorn, is the Knight of Cups, the Ten of Wands, Eight of Cups in reverse, the Two of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, Two of Wands with the Four of Wands and the Four of Cups, Knight of Swords, Seven of Wands, Empress, the Sun, King of Pentacles in reverse, Four of Swords, and we have here Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. Ooh. Okay, Capricorn. Kind of feel like you are hmm. Capricorn, I don't know what you're doing actually. <laughs> you you feel a little bit split here in this energy. <clears throat> uh, you feel you feel a little bit um what is that word? Like impulsive. You're carrying a little bit of an impulsive energy almost like a restless energy. Yeah, look at this. Page of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Oh, and the Six of Pentacles. You're distracted in, from your work, I, I want to say for some of you, by some sort of love situation. Hmm. Your work is fine, though. You're doing fine in work. We have Ten of Pentacles upright. Um, you're doing fine in that. And if you're not, you're going, you're going to be doing fine. I just don't like this energy of Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands because it kind of feels like you're... You're running all over, you're running around all over the place, you know. You're not really focused here. You're not you're not channeling your energy in one specific direction. And it looks like you're a little bit maybe frustrated. 
I think you're a little bit frustrated. You, because I feel like you want something, but it's not quite. You're not receiving what you want. It's not coming towards you. And some of you are feeling forced or pressured to to go towards what you want because what you want is not coming towards you, if that makes sense. Okay, your energy is difficult this week. Difficult to... Um, compartmentalize, I want to say. You're not, you're not um, living in one specific energy. You're, you're living in many different types of energies this week. You're trying to find what fits best with you, you know? You're trying to, you're trying almost like a puzzle piece. You're trying to figure out where you click, you know, or where you best fit. Because it's like nothing is clicking right now. And it's like you want to do this, but you don't want to do this. You want to go here, but you don't want to go here. So it's like you're just very split here. And I feel like you're not being honest with yourself um, is what I'm guessing here. Like you're not being honest. Um, you, you're not taking enough time to really meditate over what's really going to make you happy, what, what really represents emotional fulfillment for you. You might need to be a little bit more introverted this week. You know, you might, it might, you might need to kind of um, go into hermit mode this week. Because it looks like you're very sensitive. You're very ex sensitive to, to external influences and it's kind of getting you out of balance, taking you out of balance. You see King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, you might be focusing your attention on things that don't deserve your attention, things that are not, that don't serve you, that are not positive for you that are not supportive. You might have two options in love, I wanna say also, with the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Cups. That might be something that's kind of um, making you feel divided. Some of you have two different love options here or like two options and with the with the four of cups you're not really sure what what is best for you right now or or um wh where you feel the most emotion you know So you're confused about your emotions a little bit. You're not sure um, with, with who are you most emotionally connecting to. Yeah, because we do have Empress here at the bottom. <clears throat> Underneath we have the Empress. So I feel like you are wanting love in your life, you know? The Empress is a is an energy of love. <clears throat> and we do have the Knight of <clears throat> Come on, throw. We do here we do have the Knight of Cups, which is kind of like a romantic energy. So I do feel like you you want love. But right now the options that you have might not feel stable 
or you might feel like you can't trust anything or anyone right now with the seven of swords you might feel like um the safest place to be right now is with yourself you know with the four of cups but it's not necessarily where you want to be i don't feel like you necessarily want to be with with just yourself but you might feel like that's what's the safest thing right now because you're not really confident in and whoever you're dealing with, or if there's one, if there's more than one person, then you're not confident in anyone. And you might feel like you need to defend yourself in some way with the Knight of Swords. Yeah, because look, we have the Four of Wands. And the two of wands. So there's there's a there's a relationship here with the four of wands. But with the two of wands, you feel you feel unsure. Um unsure about what spirit? I don't I don't know what that means. Hold on. What's the uh, two of pentacles about spirit? Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Queen of Swords. Oh, Queen of Swords in reverse. So you're not sure if it's worth your time and energy to, to go in this direction that you wanna go or to be with this specific person because there's a lack of trust with the Queen of Swords in reverse. Um, what's the Four of Cups? Yeah, look at that Hangman and the Ace of Swords. Uh, about Emperor, Five of Cups in reverse. Does it look like you have to have a conversation with someone? There's some sort of important conversation that you need to have with someone, but you're not looking forward to it. And you might not be sure if you want to have it at all. Um, why don't you want to have it? What's holding uh, Capricorn back from this person, whoever they're dealing with? Oh, look at that. Ten of Cups and the Nine of Swords. Well, that's a big energy here. You're, you're scared to get caught up in an, in an illusion. So it kind of goes back to what I was saying of you not trusting this situation or this person. You, you're scared that it's all just an illusion. You're scared of getting wrapped, wrapped up into an illusion or you're scared of being emotionally manipulated you might feel like something is too good to be true and you just don't trust what this person is showing you or expressing to you You don't trust that this person has good intentions. You might feel like there's a double standard with this person, or you suspect that this person has double standards. I don't know, how, how is Capricorn viewing this person, whoever they're focused on here? What is Capricorn's view of them? Ooh, the lovers. So you do have an intense attraction to this person. Five of Swords in reverse. You do have an intense, you know, an connection or attraction to this person, but the lovers can sometimes be a little bit of a superficial energy. 
So I feel like you're not really sure if things can go past the 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 superficial the the surface level into something actually stable and committed with the Ten of Cups. You're not really confident that this has potential to become something actually committed and stable. Or if it's just, if it's just something casual or superficial, And you definitely don't want to, it's like you don't want to make a mistake, you know? You don't want to make a mistake. You don't want to be seen as a fool or you don't want to play the fool. So I feel like you're being very cautious with the Page of Swords. You're being very, very careful and cautious with how much you reveal to this person, with how much you express to this person or you know invest in this person like you just feel like you need a lot more information <clears throat> so i do i do feel like you're feeling kind of disappointed here you know you're feeling disappointed um because Hmm. You're just not receiving the clarity that you would like to receive. You're not you're not feeling secure. You're not feeling safe. You might feel like this person is not is not giving you the answers you're looking for or is not providing you with the information that that you're looking for and that you need. To, to make a confident decision, to, you know, to pick a direction here with the two of wands. So it's like you're at a crossroads. You feel like you're at a crossroads. Yeah, and you feel like time is running out. There's something about time. You feel like time is running out. You're, you might be starting to get a little impatient, you know. Yeah, I think you're feeling impatient. Okay. Well, hopefully that made sense, Capricorn. I feel like, I don't know, the energy was a little bit like messy, I want to say. Just messy energy. But hopefully I was able to uh, decipher it accurately. Let's see your person and let's see what their energy is. Let me put the intention. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of the person Capricorn is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. Thank you, Spirit. First card we have for your person, Capricorn, is the Ace of Swords in reverse, the Nine of Wands, the Lovers, could be a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra, Two of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Ace of Wands at the bottom, Six of Wands with the Seven of Wands. 
to the King of Cups, Three of Pentacles, to the Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Five of Wands, Three of Cups, the Sun, and we have the Devil here. Ten of Pentacles upright again. That's interesting. You had that Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. Wow, hold on. I feel like this energy is relevant here. Devil, Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Four of Swords. Got it. Justice, Two of Wands, Emperor. Yeah, fire sign energy, lots of fire. Some of you are dealing with fire. Well, you're dealing with someone who is kind of stubborn here, getting a little arrogance or ego, pride, energy. Hmm. I mean, this person is coming through with the justice card. That's not that's not someone who is going to um take action <laughs> yeah all right yeah i see it here six of ones seven of ones three of, yeah this that's not someone who's gonna take action at all ace of ones in reverse because this is someone who feels like um they're they're the ones that are right and you're wrong you know, that's, that's the energy here. Kind of like, I'm right, you're wrong energy. Emperor in reverse and the justice card. Especially with the king of wands, strength and empress. I mean, my God, Capricorn, good luck. Good luck getting through this one. This is not someone who... You, have, you should be, I, I would say be careful though, because this is someone who can have very strong, a strong effect on people, you know? This is someone who can have a strong effect. They can have a, a strong influence on people. It, it, it's easily to get, it, it's easy to get influenced by them seduced by them, by their energy. They're very attractive. But this is someone who, it, they're looking for a fair relationship, um, Capricorn, with the Justice card. They are looking for a fair, balanced 50-50 relationship, but they, they, they're not looking at you like you are at their level, whatever that means. They're looking at you like you are the one who has to prove yourself to them. You have to prove yourself to them. You have to gain their respect. You have to gain their trust. They don't owe you anything. That's their attitude here. I don't owe you anything. That's what they're saying. I'm, I'm good without you, is what they're saying here. I can be happy without you. You're not a necessity, you know, in, in my life. If I'm with you, it's because I want to be with you, not because I need you. That's what they're trying to like, that's what they're expressing here. But this energy feels kind of aggressive, honestly. Six of ones and the seven of ones, that's kind of aggressive. And the king of cups in reverse is someone who's kind of 
avoiding being emotionally vulnerable with you. So they're displaying too much masculine energy here, basically. You know, they're 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 giving off too much masculine energy. It's it's good to have masculine energy, but you know, you need balance. And I feel like this person is interesting because we do have the justice card, so they're looking for balance, but they themselves are not very balanced. And I feel like they're pushing you away here, honestly. They're, they're acting intimidating. They're trying to intimidate. And I feel like they want to see if that will scare you away. They're almost like they're testing you to see if you get scared away. To see if you, if you can't um, rise up to the challenge. Because it's like they're challenging you. It's, it's like they want you to fight. They want you to fight, yeah. They want you to fight. They're putting you in that position to, to make you fight for them. Because that's the only way, that's the only way they'll accept you. Is, is if you fight for them. It, it, they're very... They're very big on loyalty, so this person is definitely testing your loyalty. But, you know, they're very strict and very controlling. Um, Capricorn, they're very controlling. I don't know about this person, <laughs> Capricorn. I mean, I don't want to say they're bad, but... Because, I mean, we have the Empress here, so I feel like this person is someone who is loyal, you know. They, are, they do demand from you what they themselves give. With the, with the uh, Sun, what is it, Strength and King of Wands, so... This is someone who is like 100%, you know. They're, they're either all in or all out. They're not indecisive, and they don't like people who are who aren't um, decisive, they, or they don't like people that are indecisive. But it, I don't know. The energy feels kind of one-sided in the way they're they're approaching things with you. It, it feels a little one-sided. It feels like they're being a little bit of a dictator. You know, uh, a little bit of a, a dictator or a, a controller, manipulator, in you can say also. Because, again, with the justice card, I feel like they want fairness and balance, but I don't feel like they themselves embody fairness and balance. I feel like this is someone who wants to be on top. They want to be in, in charge. You know, they want to call the shots. They want to dictate what happens and what doesn't happen. So, you know, where's the balance in that? This is not looking like someone who is very good at compromising with others. Um, their idea of of justice or their idea of fairness is you following their lead. <laughs> you know, that's what they consider balanced and fair. You know, so there's a lot of pride with this person and they don't open they don't open up emotionally. They they're very protective of their emotions. So, I don't know, what can I tell you here, Capricorn? But I feel like, I mean, that's up to you because I do see them being very loyal. So I don't feel like they're lying on, in that aspect. But, and I do feel like they do, they do give themselves fully to the relationship and to you. Um, they might be very nurturing. They're nurturing and very protective, very loving. 
but you would need to be patient with this person or you would need to be more of a submissive person with them. So that's kind of like the sacrifice that you need to decide if you want to make. <clears throat> or this person can try to humble themselves a little bit more, but I don't know if they're willing to do that. I think they might be willing to do that because we do have the three of pentacles, but not not initially. You know, it's after they establish that you are loyal and trustworthy, then they might become a little bit more, you know, or they might make a, make a little bit more compromises and kind of humble themselves a little bit but not not in not in the beginning, you know. It it takes time for them to to loosen up the the reins if that makes sense. Okay? So, yeah, that's that's the energy of who you're dealing with here. They I feel like they're waiting to receive an offer from you with the page of pentacles. They're waiting to receive an offer from you. They're waiting for you to um, I don't know. But what's the page of pentacles? I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, ace of pentacles. So, yeah, they're waiting to receive a, an offer of commitment from you. They do want a commitment. They do want stability with you. But they're not going to chase you. You know, this is not someone who's going to chase you. This is not someone who's going to beg you. You know, it's like they have a lot of pride. And they definitely put themselves on a pedestal. So they're, they're looking at you like you're the one who needs to, who needs to prove yourself to them, not the other way around. Okay, that's, that's their... That's their um, perspective of things. So uh, I don't know what to say there. I feel like that's that's a hard decision because I feel like this person has a lot of um, cons, but they also have a lot of pros, you know? So I guess it's up to you to decide, you know, which side weighs more. Because I feel like they, they have good things and they have bad things. And it's like both of, the, both of those sides are like at an extreme from one another. So this, this is not someone very balanced, you know. They're, they're an extremist in, in everything they do. So I guess it's up to you to decide if you're compatible with them or not. And if you can... If you're okay with with being more of a submissive person, more of a passive person, because this is someone who's not going to let go of their authority or like their their need to be in control and to be in a position of authority. They're not gonna give that up, you know. They want to be in charge. Okay. So Capricorn, I'm going to continue in the extended reading now. I'm going to take a deeper look at this person and I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you. What are their true and real intentions and what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week? If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Take care.